In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the distance between two points in the xy plane using the distance formula. But before we get into the distance formula, let's try to build some intuition for the problem by approaching it with methods that we already understand. So let's try to find the distance between the point 1, 2 and the point 5, 10. We're just trying to find the length of this diagonal connector between them. Uh, the length will be indicated by the letter D. So how do we do this? If, if this point were right above this point, then we could just, uh, we just, we could just count the units it goes up. Um, and if this point were right across from this point, we could just count the units it goes across. But because the distance is diagonal, that makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, but the idea is to decompose the diagonal distance into a horizontal distance and a vertical distance. This horizontal and vertical distance, uh, they're easy to compute. And then once we know them, we can use the Pythagorean theorem because this is just a right triangle. So how do we find these, these distances? Well, we just have to look at the coordinates. Uh, this horizontal distance is just the distance in the x direction. So how far do we go from one to five? Well, five minus one is four. And then the vertical distance is in the y direction, so we look at the y coordinates. How far do we go from 2 to 10? Well, 10 minus 2 is 8. So 8. And now we can go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem. We can set up the square of the hypotenuse, d, is equal to the square of the first leg, 4, so 4 squared plus the square of the second leg, eight. And now we can go ahead and compute this and solve for d squared. So let's go ahead and square those two legs. d squared equals four squared, which is 16, plus eight squared, which is 64. So then adding them together, we get that d squared equals 80. And then to get rid of the square on the D, we can root both sides. And then we get D equals root 80, which we can break up into root 16 times root five. So D equals four root five. And that's it. That's the distance between the points. In general, using this method on any two points, X1, y1 and x2 y2 results in the distance formula which is given right here the distance formula says that the distance is just the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And that should look pretty familiar. Uh, x2 minus x1 is just the length of this leg. y2 minus one is just the length of the vertical leg. And then we just square them. And then to get d alone, we have to take the root. Uh, so that's that's where it comes from. So this, this is the master formula that we're going to be referring to whenever we have to take the distance between two points. We're just going to plug the points in here and compute. So let's do a few examples. For our first example, we're going to use the distance formula to compute the distance between 3, 8 and 4, 1. So we're just going to plug in these points into their corresponding spots in the distance formula. So first we're going to look at the x coordinates, 3 and 4. We'll let 3 be x1, and we'll let 4 be x2. And then plugging this in, we've got that d equals square root of x2 is 4, so plug that in, and x1 is 3, so plug that in, squared. And then for the y coordinates, we'll look at the second coordinates, 8 and 1. And since this is x1, uh, this needs to be y1, and since this is x2, this needs to be 
y2. We've got to keep the x1, y1 together, and we've got to keep the x2, y2 together. So now we'll just plug that in. y2 is 1 minus y1 is 8 and squared. And now it just comes down to computing what's inside of the root. So let's do that. d equals square root of 4 minus 3 is 1. And we're going to square that. And then 1 minus 8 is negative 7. We're going to square that. So now uh, distance equals, let's do the actual squaring of these two terms. Uh, so 1 squared is just 1. And then negative 7 squared is just 49. And as a check, you should make sure, since these are both squared, the result should be positive here and here. You should never have a negative number after the squaring. Great, so we've got positive 1, positive 49. We'll go ahead and add them and get d equals root of 50. And we can simplify this a little bit. d equals root of 25 times root of 2 because 50 is just 25 times 2. So then d equals uh, 5 root 2. And there we have it. We're done. That's our distance between 3, 8, and 4, 1. Here's another example. Um, this example is very similar, but it's a bit trickier because now we've got some negative coordinates. But the process is still the same. We're just going to plug in uh, x1, x2, y1, and y2 into our distance formula and compute. So let's write our distance formula again, but this time we're going to plug in uh, for x and y. So for the x's, here's an x, here's an x. We'll say that this is x1 and this is x2. So x2 minus x1 becomes 1 minus, and then x1 is negative 2 squared. And then for our y's, we've got negative 3 and 7, and this will be y1, this will be y2, and then we've got y2, which is negative 7, minus y1, which is negative 3 squared. Okay, so now this is where you have to be very careful about the negatives. 1 minus negative 2 and it's just the same as 1 plus 2 because the, neg the negatives cancel out. So this is really uh, 1 plus 2 squared. And then negative 7 minus negative 3, the same thing happens. The negatives here in a row cancel out, but we've still got a negative on the 7. So this is really negative 7 plus 3 squared. And now we can go ahead and compute without paying as much attention because the double negatives are taken care of. 1 plus 2 is just 3, and then we're going to square that. And then negative 7 plus 3 uh, is just negative 4, and we're going to square that also. And we'll go ahead and do the squaring. So d equals root of 9 plus 16. Okay, let's check ourselves. Are these two results positive? They should be positive because we're scoring things. And yes, they are both positive. Great. So we're, go we're good to go ahead and compute our, our root. We'll, we'll add them together. So this is the root of 9 plus 16, which is 25. So the distance is just 5. In the beginning, we talked a bit about how the distance formula really just comes from applying the Pythagorean theorem to the triangle whose hypotenuse is the segment between our two points. But let's work it out more explicitly here. So we need to find expressions for the legs of the triangle. Let's first consider the horizontal leg. That's just the difference between the x-coordinates, x1 and x2. We take the bigger x-coordinate, x2, and subtract off the smaller one to give us the length of the leg. So x2 minus x1. And then to find the length of the vertical leg, we do the same thing, but this time with the y-coordinates. We take the bigger coordinate, y2, and subtract off y1 from it. So y2 minus y1. 
Okay, now that we've got our side lengths, we can go ahead and set up the Pythagorean theorem. So Pythagorean theorem just says that the distance squared, the hypotenuse squared, is equal to the first side length squared. The first side length is just x2 minus x1, and then we square it, then plus the second side length squared. So the second light side length is y2 minus y1, and then we just have to square it. All right, now to solve for the distance, we simply take the square root, and there we have it, the distance formula. In the future, we'll also use the distance formula for other purposes, such as finding the coordinates of an unknown point.